The Caha Mountains are located in the Beira Peninsula in southwest Cork. Hi from the Beira Peninsula. I'm down here for a three day hike. Um, I'm just going to show you on my map here where I am and where I'm planning to get to today. That's Bantry Bay down there and Bear Island. I'll definitely have to visit maybe this summer. I'm going to just turn this around to the map and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm just outside Castletown Bear. I started hiking from this point here. Um, there's a, a pier that you can access um, Bear Island from. And I came up uh, a lane and I've just, I'm, I'm actually at this junction here now. This is the Bear Away. And I'm going to follow the bear away to about this point and then the bear away goes off onto lower ground but I'm going to keep high and go up to Hungry Hill, over to Derry Clancy, over to Coombane. I'm not sure how much further I'm going to get. Uh, the Healy Pass is just over the other side of the map there. Um, so this this route that I'm going to follow, it's actually following the county boundary between Cork and Kerry and goes along this ridge of these mountains. So I'm hoping to make a, a three day hike out of it and it's uh, probably about 40 kilometres that I'm going to try and do. I actually hitched to here. I parked my car up uh, near Glengariff. That's where I hope to finish this hike. And then I hitched from Glengariff uh, down to Castletown Bear. So it took me two lifts. Um, I suppose one of the drawbacks of hiking alone is that I, I usually have to do looped walks or walk back on myself. Um, and I really didn't want to do that this time. I wanted to just walk a, a long way along uh, the ridge of these mountains and took the risk of hitching a lift, something I haven't done for almost 30 years and it worked out absolutely fine, obviously a little bit nervous doing it um, and I think the people who picked me up were nervous as well so two different guys, two different lifts to get here um, about uh, a little over 30 kilometres by road um, but yeah glad I did it so that's the first stage of the adventure over with and on to the next
I've reached the summit of Hungry Hill, which is 682 meters and the highest point in the Caja Mountains. As you can see, I'm completely under cloud cover. So unfortunately I can't show you all the views. I can't even see them myself. Um, probably for about three quarters of the, the climb up, I had great visibility and then it just disappeared on me. So I, I doubt I'm gonna come out of it for the rest of the evening from memory of when I last looked at the weather. Uh, I'd say this is down for the night. So unfortunately, I can't show you off. Oh, any views? So probably not too much filming now for the rest of the evening for me. I have two more summits I'm gonna try and get through. That's uh, over to Derry Clancy. And I'll see if I have enough energy in me to make it over to Coombe Bain as well uh, before I set up the tent. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably walk for about another hour and a half, two hours, you'll see. It's, um, I think it's about half five now. So it's been a, a long day so far with my drive down and hitching and then climbing up the highest mountain. Uh, but hopefully the next uh, little bit will be okay. Still on my way down Hungry Hill and hoping to get up Derry Clancy. That's Derry Clancy in front of me there. But it's been a tough old descent. It's really hard to get a good line when you're coming down. So I'm coming down a bit and then having to climb back up again because uh, you can't see over the ridges to kind of see what's ahead. Um, <clears throat> but uh, hopefully I've got a, a decent line ahead of me now and uh, <clears throat> should be able to get up Derry Clancy then pretty quickly. my destination over there, Coombe Bain, and there's a water source, so it'll be handy for the tea tonight and dinner. Um, going to set up the tent there, I think. I think it's about a quarter to eight, so hopefully I'll make it over before it gets dark.
I'm all packed up and just about to start day two of my hike. I uh, slept well in the tent last night and there was absolutely no breeze at all last night so the rain fly was covered in condensation but I was able to get it all dry before packing it up. Camping for two nights uh, just meant that I really wanted to try get it dry and I did which is great. So another big day hiking. And the first port to call is to come down towards the Healy Pass. I think it's about, about two kilometers. Um, and then I'm gonna climb up that ridge over there. And that high point over there is Knock Own. So I'll be heading over there. And then coming along that ridge, Kushna Fikula, I think it's called. Uh, so another big day, but looking forward to it. I've had a promotion in the hiking food stakes and for lunch today I'm having jerry noodles with a spoonful of almond butter. So they're coca noodles as recommended by my friend Sharon and another friend Linda I find out is also a big fan of these. But uh, I've, I've done a taste test and they're definitely my favourite noodles. I've only about a kilometre left to finish off my walking for day two. I've chosen to camp at Rams Hill and it looks like there's a, a lake there that I can, or a pond, um, that I can use to get water um, before I face into day three. Another tough day, uh, a lot of hours walking. Made it to Rams Hill and I have the tent set up. I'm just going to have something small to eat. I'm actually not that hungry, but I know I need to eat. I think it's just eating sugary snacks. So that's the two of my three days hiking completed. Um, another tough day today with fantastic landscape. Uh, a few navigation errors as well, which um, added to my time especially as I was getting tired, um, but delighted to be here and I'll have a little bit of time to just, just relax before going to sleep tonight, before setting off for tomorrow. I think tomorrow is actually my longest day hiking of the three, <laughs> um, but I should be okay. I have plenty of time and um, we've got long days at the moment, which is great. Good morning from Rams Hill. This is the lake at Rams Hill um, where I camped last night. 
my final night camping before my final day camp hiking. So again, I just want to show you my route for today. I'm low on battery power. My GoPro batteries are all dead. And so is my power bank. <laughs> so there won't be much filming today. Um, so I'm here at Rams Hill at this lake. And my plan is to we climb about another kilometer up and then I reach this ridge or Killane Mountain and go along this ridge. It looks quite narrow. Up as far as Bora Borara Mountain and then across this ridge over to here and then I meet the Bear Away Trail and I go across here on Esk Mountain and then I follow the Bear Trail back down and my car is around here near just outside Glengariff so that's been a bit of a bad portrayal of, of the route um, hopefully you were able to follow that um, it's about 14 kilometers but 14 kilometers can mean 20 kilometers between having to go up and down um, I don't think there'd be any going back for the camera today because I just don't have the battery to deal with that. The walk over from Rams Hill was just absolutely gorgeous this morning. I've reached Killane Mountain, so this is the next ridge I'm crossing, which looks really spectacular. Some clouds coming up at the lower part. And I'm not sure if the GoPro can pick up that valley below. Really magical. Before I left the tent, I realised I had one more battery. I'm just coming down off Killane Mountain and that was possibly three or four kilometers of the nicest hiking I've ever done. It's a really nice ridge to walk along. And now my next mountain is over here, Borara Mountain, all along that ridge. I think it's about a little over 2k. And then I swing left over towards Esk Mountain. One of the features along the walk today has been this fence. I've had to get over it a couple of times. I'll save, save you seeing a video of me trying to negotiate it. <laughs> but uh, there's been maybe been about three, maybe four that I've had to climb over so far. having my last lunch up on Esk Mountain and I turned on my phone and there was a missed call from a, a number I didn't recognize and I googled the 
uh, code at the start of the number and it was Bantry in Cork so I immediately thought oh my god my car uh, so I rang the number and it was Bantry Garda station and uh, a member of the public had spotted my car uh, for the last couple of days parked in a forest park and had contacted the guard so they were just ringing to see that I was okay so what a relief and fair play to that person for, for checking up and thank god my car is still intact I've made it back to the car. Uh, big thanks to Ian Keith, a friend from work who recommended I explore the Caha Mountains and how right he was. For those looking for a midgy update, there was none to be seen or felt this weekend anyway. <laughs>